Welcome to Harris Family Cattle. If you enjoy the video, please click the subscribe button at the end of the video. And if you're interested in any of our products, the links to our Facebook marketplace will be listed in the description below. Hello, my name is Bobby Harris. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the video and everything and whatever you see that I've got this put on there at. But there's a few things I want to go over. One is this halter and lead rope. I make these halters and I make these lead ropes. Me and my wife, we've been making them for several years now and we've sold a bunch of them to several people. Horse trainers, regular barns for riding, trail riding stables, several different places. And usually once they buy them, they don't buy no more because they don't need to. They hold up a long time. And the halter, there's nothing real special about it besides the type of rope I use on it. I use a nylon rope on them. And I only do white mainly. Um, I may look at doing other colors in the future, but right now white is the only one we've had really good luck with. We used to make a bunch of different colored halters, but the colored ones, they don't hold up as well. There's something that goes wrong with the rope and they break pretty easy. With the white, this one here I've used for several years now, and I mean several years. And you can see it looks like it's had better days. But like I said, there's nothing real special about the halters. Now the lead rope, I spent a career shoeing horses full time for several years. And one of my biggest problems I had with shoeing horses was metal hardware. The metal hardware on your lead ropes. When a horse sits back, the first thing that you'll see is the snap breaks. If the snap don't break, the metal on the butt on the halters break. And then the lead rope will break. With these ones here, I put a knot, a special knot on the end that will not come undone. And I also braid a loop into it. You can use these lead ropes on any halter that you can find. All you gotta do is take your tie loop on your halter, run it the loop through the loop on the halter, drop that loop over the knot, and then when it gets tension on it, it pulls it tight. You have no metal hardware to break, and if you know in your tack rooms that just about every tack room I've been in, there's broken snaps in that tack room. Well, this here will eliminate that by using these. Now, I sell these. You can find me on my Facebook page, Bobby Harris, or you can look me up on our cattle page which is Harris Family Cattle. Send me a message and you can inquire about the halters and lead ropes there. Now I start them off selling them at eight foot and I will go over prices if you message me about them but these lead ropes they hold up a long time. Now the one safety thing that I want to go over on these lead ropes is if you watch my videos one of the problems I had watching watching uh, people when I was shooting horses was a lot of people, a lot of horse owners, will take their lead rope and they will coil them up just like they're coiling up a lariat or something. That there is one of the most dangerous things you can do when you have an 800 pound or 1500 pound animal on the end of that rope. Because if something goes wrong and you can't drop them coils, then you're gonna be in a bind if it gets up on your hand. Because if they get up on your hand, when, you, when that rope goes to pulling, it'll cinch down on you. And you cannot get that undone with something pulling on you. So for safety aspect of it, if you don't know how to handle a lot of rope, one, drop it, let the tail slip on the ground. In the video, you'll see me, I'll take, and I'll double the rope over. That way I'm not dragging the rope on the ground. You have no loop for your hand to go in except for down here. But it's a lot easier to drop this than it is to drop those coils. And you'll also see in some of my videos if I'm working on a fence or something or working with a horse instead of having the coils, I'll just take the rope and I'll throw it down. That way all you got is a rope sliding through your hand. And you may even see me sometimes take, throw the rope over shoulder towards like this, that way I can let it go. And like I said in the video, 
best lead rope I've got in my hand is a 14 foot lead rope. That's what I prefer to use for training. Now for trail riding, it's too long. Unless you think you're gonna be doing a lot of pulling on another horse or something, or using it to bring a cow in or who knows what out on a trail. But I generally sell my halters and lead ropes where the lead rope is eight foot long. It's usually what I found is more comfortable for people that aren't used to using a lot of rope. And if I go on a trail ride, I usually have an eight foot rope in my saddlebag or something. That way if I need to tie up or whatever. But I want to say, hope you guys enjoy the video and you all have a wonderful day. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom page. And thank you from Harris Family Cattle.